Unshaped documents are generic containers that can contain parts, assemblies, drawings, imported data, images, and more. The collection of design data is organized and stored in individual tabs within a document. Tabs in Onshape make up the different types of data in a document including a part studio, assembly, drawing, imported files such as an image, feature studios, and more. Tabs are displayed along the bottom of the screen in the tab bar. The tab manager, located on the bottom left side of every Onshape document, lists all of the tabs inside that document. To access the tab manager in Onshape Mobile, tap the caret icon in the bottom left side corner of the screen. Select the plus icon to create additional tabs in the document. To collapse the tab manager, Tap on the caret icon. Additional information regarding the tab manager is discussed in the next feature video. The graphics area is the large rectangular portion of the user interface in which parts and assemblies are displayed. At the top of the interface in the document is the document informational panel. This panel allows you to access features like versions, history, comments, collaborators, and help. To the right of the document interface is the detail panel. This panel displays information pertaining to document and share details. Select the detail icon to access additional attributes related to document properties, units, renaming a document, and copying a document workspace. Directly below the detail icon in the detail panel is the share icon. Select the share icon to share a document with an individual, team, company, through link sharing, or making the document public. To access tools, menus, or lists within Onshape Mobile, tap on a specific icon to enable or expand the tool, list, or flyout dialog. Tap again on the same icon to disable or collapse the tool, list, or flyout dialog. Similar to the desktop, the sketch and feature tools are located in a Part Studio tab. The sketch tools are a series of tools available for creating a sketch in a Part Studio. Tools in the sketch tools such as line, inner rectangle, center point rectangle, center point circle, three point circle, tangent arc, three point arc, line, point, and construction are used to create sketch entities in a part studio. The search toolbar in the sketch tools assists in filtering the search results of a desired sketch tool. The sketch tools are located along the top of the interface on the feature toolbar in the active part studio. The feature tools are a series of tools available for creating features of a part. The feature tools create, modify, or manipulate 2D and 3D geometry to create new parts, modify existing ones, or generate construction tools for later use. The search bar in the feature tools assists in filtering the search results of a desired feature. The feature tools are located along the top of the interface on the feature toolbar in the Active Part Studio tab. Also note, any custom features are available as well. The Part Studio Feature and Parts list consists of a list of features and parts. The Feature and Parts lists are located on the left side flyout menu. Flyout menu includes the number of features in the Part Studio, the default geometry, and the parametric history of the Part Studio. The Parts list is below the Features list and contains the parts, curves, and surface resulting from the features. To access additional screen real estate, collapse the Feature and Parts list by tapping on the Feature and Parts list handle. A more in-depth discussion about the Feature and Parts list is addressed in a future video. The Assembly tools, which can be accessed in the Assembly tab, are a series of tools for creating mate connectors, mates, patterns, and relations for use in assembly parts. The search toolbar in the assembly tools assists in filtering the search results of a desired assembly feature.
The assembly tools are located along the top of the interface on the assembly toolbar in the Active Assembly tab. The undo icon in OnShape reverses the action of the last feature in the software. The redo icon re-executes the action of the last command in the software. The undo and redo icons are located along the top of the interface on the feature toolbar in an Active Parts Studio tab or the Assembly toolbar in an Active Assembly tab. There are several view options to make it easy to interact and view the model. The 3D Rotate Lock, when active, locks the user's ability to 3D rotate the graphics area. This is particularly useful when attempting to select and drag an entity or limit rotation in an active sketch. The 3D Rotate Lock is located directly above the view cube in both part studios and assemblies. To activate the 3D Rotate Lock, tap the button. To deactivate, Tap the button again or commit a feature. In certain situations, 3D Rotate Lock activates by default. In the Part Studio, if a sketch is open and an entity is selected, the 3D Rotate Lock turns on by default. This allows for the selection to be dragged without the view rotating. Unlock the 3D Rotate Lock by retapping the button. Similarly, in the assembly, if an instance, mate connector, or entity is selected, the 3D Rotate Lock turns on by default. This allows for the selection to be dragged without the view rotating. To unlock the 3D Rotate Lock, retap the button. The view cube is located in the upper right corner of the graphics area. When selected, a list of different view and display options displays. Select one of the orthographic view options to change the view of the graphics area. This is an easy and quick way to get a well-oriented view of the graphics area. The section view option in the view cube allows you to section the parts or assembly. You can choose any plane, mate connector, cylindrical face, or planar face to use for sectioning. To access the section view option, first, Reselect an entity to use as the section plane. Then tap the view cube. Tap section view. The triad manipulator appears in the graphics area. Select the drag or rotate the manipulator along the desired axis to section the part. To toggle off the section view, tap the view cube and tap turn off section view. The measure tool displays measurements dynamically whenever you select entities. The measure tool appears along the bottom right corner of the screen once selected in the top toolbar. It is available in Part Studios for sketches and parts, and assemblies for parts and assemblies. The Mass Properties tool displays the mass properties of a part or assembly when the material has been applied. The Mass Properties tool in Onshape Mobile is available in Part Studios and Assemblies and can be found along the bottom right corner of the screen once selected in the top toolbar. Additionally, you can use this tool to override properties and supply custom values for mass, center of mass, and inertia. Drawings on a mobile device are view only with the ability to update part and assembly references. To update workspace references, Click on the Update Workspace References button. To update version and revision references, tap the Drawing tab and select Update Link. Within the Tab Manager, you also have the ability to rename the Drawing tab, delete the Drawing tab, or export the drawing as a DXF, DWG, DWT, or PDF file. Additionally, different sheets in the drawings can be accessed on the left side of the interface by tapping the Sheet Flyout icon. Once selected, the Sheet Flyout displays the associated sheets and views within the drawing. To view another sheet, double tap the sheet name. To close the sheet's flyout, tap the sheet's icon again. To close the current document and return to the document page, tap the caret arrow in the upper left corner of the document information panel.